it did play up on the one individual that had an uh, assault-style weapon. They called it an automatic weapon. They called it a sniper weapon. It was neither. It was a semi-automatic assault uh, rifle that he was aiming in the direction of the uh, of the BLM. I don't think he should have done that uh, because that was provocative. They were doing it back, and that was provocative. I, I think that was bad. No, that's right, and we don't need that right now. We need armed people to be there because to be there because they clearly had threatened that there's going to be bloodshed there and that you better bring your body bags and you better bring your caskets. So, you know, that uh, Nevada commissioner, Clark County commissioner that made that shows that within even the county governments, there are people who are very much on the side of big government and are not willing to, to buck them. But, you know, the story of the Bundy thing is a little bit mixed in my mind in the sense that the principles were correct. The reason why Bundy was... Uh, 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 stopped paying the fees was not because he was just trying to be a freeloader. They kept changing the rules, and that's the way the BLM does, kept cutting down the number of cattle. In the name of the tortoise, there were many other ulterior motives involved. The biggest one is that the federal government really wants all private inholders and landholders with rights out of federal land. Um, you know, Bundy's Ranch in particular is not flat. It is not suitable for the solar... Uh, uh, Operations it was an easement to that, though, in the documents. Part, yes, you're, you're absolutely correct. But it's the general area uh, that was in the large-scale plan for developing solar energy there. They wouldn't have had to take his particular ranch to do that. Uh, but there is something very real to the story about Harry Reid and the corruption. I quoted in the World Affairs Brief a New York Times or a L.A. Times article about how you do business in Nevada and how you've got to throw that business to Harry Reid, and that's the L.A. Times, an establishment newspaper coming out and talking about how he and his family have become wealthy through special deals that they can offer through his auspices. Uh, and unfortunately, some of that is illegal. It's unethical, in my opinion, to get wealthy. Uh, but that's how the establishment works. But, you know, unfortunately, uh, Cl Cliven Bundy is not the most well-spoken or careful individual. He did make a mistake uh, that was taken out of extreme context of uh, making what could be uh, made uh, racist remarks. If you remember Evan Meekin, the governor of Arizona, they just waited until he made a slip of the tongue and then they crucify him. So, uh, you know, somebody's got to get a media person when we have the next type of a fight here and say, you know, got to train these people to be very, very careful when you go before the media. As you know, Alex, they're just waiting to pounce upon any mistake that you make. Now, there was some real severe disinformation going on about uh, last week about uh, hundreds of federal agents massing in Las Vegas at various hotels. And ridiculous drone strikes. The feds would never do that. It would blow up in their face. It could turn the whole country against them. Well, you know, your listeners can tell when there's disinformation. I can understand somebody wanting to be anonymous, but really there was no requirement to be anonymous on that. In addition, you always want to look for something specific that you can check. He could have said they're at this hotel so that we could have, I could have sent subscribers down there as I often do to check things out and say, you know, are they there? Are there hundreds of SUVs? And you see a lot of agents milling around. Without any specific information, I'm always very skeptical that somebody's playing us uh, on the internet. And often they do that because the government's tracking all uh, uh, internet uh, blogs and communication. And they're making lists of people who respond in a, a flamboyant way to these stories, which they themselves probably put on the market. Well said. When we come back, I want to give you the floor to talk about whatever you want. What do you think's front and center right now, Joel Skousen, at worldaffairsbrief.com? Well, it really is the, the Ukraine story. We've got to remember that... Uh, this is a, uh, the prelude to World War III. Now, I am of the opinion it's not imminent because Russia and China aren't ready, but this is the beginning that I have talked about for so many years, that Russia put uh, millions of Russians into the former Soviet states while they were still Soviet states and did that so that he could come in to rescue them at some time when he was going to provoke uh, this war. Just like Hitler used German populations in Ukraine and Poland as the pretext in World War II. Yes, in Czechoslovakia and Poland. He went into the Sudetenland, he went into Poland to supposedly protect. So we could see this coming, and uh, I still think it's going to be slow. The fact that he's always doing this with massed individuals. Uh, well, stay there. We'll get your perspective. Yeah.
a deep perspective on it with a really smart guy, Joel Skousen. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars.com. And follow our latest breaking news at Twitter at RealAlexJones. We've got breaking gun news, too. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. Extend your life with Extend Overnight. Hey, neighbor, what are you doing digging? You had a heart attack last year. Oh, I know. I was told no more hard labor. Then why are you digging? Well, I've been taking Extendivite. It's been approved to help my heart. Extendivite? Is that a new drug? No, not a drug. It's uh, more like an herbal combination made from garlic and cayenne. Herbal? How can that help? Well, actually, we've taken herbs for thousands of years, and Extendivite is doing the job for me. Does your doctor know about Extendivite? Yeah, my doctor knows, and he said it seems to be working for you, so don't stop taking it. I feel great taking Extendivite. I don't want to stop. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822, or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Americans, the Bundy Ranch disaster proved again that the feds think citizens like you are the enemy. The NSA was able to secretly steal the personal information off the phones of every person at the Bundy Ranch without them ever knowing. And they were able to access their address books as well, so now their friends are at risk. It's time to take your identity off the government's radar and learn how to protect yourself from government spying. Go to offgrididentity.com now to protect yourself. That's offgrididentity.com. Joel Skousen is our guest. We're going to get his perspective on the Ukraine that differs from a lot of the other perspectives that are out there, but I do see his perspective. This story is up at DrudgeReport.com. It just broke at Infowars.com. Holder's latest scandal. DOJ now pressuring banks to refuse service to gun stores. This is what Hitler did to the Jews before he started arresting them. I mean, the political persecution of these people is just unbelievable.
I'll get Joel Skousen's take on that uh, after he gets into Ukraine. Joel, reset from when you were on a, a few weeks ago, saying that you saw the Russians back government stand down a few months ago with the overthrow with the Soros NATO back group. But that doesn't mean then that Putin's good either, obviously. And that you're saying they stood down as part of a plan so they can then partition the country or, 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 or try to take it over. Now they're massing Russian troops. They're clearly involved in asymmetrical warfare, shooting down helicopters, shooting mayors and people. What's happening? Well, that is my unique point of view, and I, you remember that quite well, Alex. Uh, my point was that this had to be, in the, the Ukraine, an actual Russian-engineered coup, not a pro-Western coup. Now, I'm not saying that the pro-Western didn't have influence in the opposition, but this had to be a pro-Western coup because only the Russian forces could have ordered the police to stand down to let the protesters win. Um, and uh, they're the only ones who could have told the party of regions, the, the pro-Soviet party and the Ukrainian parliament who had the vast majority to vote against Yanukovych and oust him. And what has happened here has matched exactly my predictions. That is that Ukraine has only put up a token resistance distance. Uh, and it is token. They've announced today, for example, that they have effectively lost control over the situation in the country's eastern Luhansk and Donetsk regions where a number of government buildings have been taken over by pro-Russian separatists. And then today, hundreds of, well, it says there's kind of uh, uh, conflicting stories, as there always is here. It says hundreds of pro-Moscow uh, separatists stormed government buildings in one of Ukraine's provincial capitals. Uh, and fired on police hold up at a regional headquarters. In fact, there were only 20 rebel gunmen opening fire with automatic weapons and stun grenades. Now remember, nobody who's a civilian in Ukraine has automatic weapons and stun grenades. So these people are armed by the Russians, uh, and they may have special forces direction in there. They go one by one after these police stations. But what I'm going to say to you, Alex, is that the strange thing that nobody's talking about is that it doesn't take a whole army to stop that kind of an assault on a police station. They just simply have to telephone the uh, regional military of the Ukraine and say, we need some special forces in here. They drive them right in. You can drive away 20 armed rebels easily, and Ukraine is doing nothing at all. They claim to bring military um, tanks and um, uh, armored personnel carry into the Ukraine, but they have not fired a shot. You know, it's just not that difficult to stop this kind of small-scale escalation. Well, listen, I don't agree with you that, that, that Putin's going to let turmoil heat up and then try to take half the country. I predicted day one they would end up partitioning the country. That's my prediction. But in Slavyansk and other areas, they did send in helicopters and tanks. Those tanks are being attacked. The helicopters are getting shot down. Clearly, these are Russian special forces. Most of them, it's admitted, are former pro-Russian police in the cities that want their jobs back. So it's mainly former soldier slash police that are obviously probably being commanded by uh, Russian um, special forces. But no one ever lost their jobs because of the coup. You know, that's a bunch of propaganda that uh, that any of the pro-Russian people lost their jobs. Uh, if they lost their jobs, it's because the pro-Russian people fired them so they'd have an excuse to go before for the media and say they lost their job. Look, under under Yevchenko and Timoshenko, the previous so-called pro-EU uh, prime ministers, none of them lost their job in the bureaucracy in Ukraine. And that's one of the major indications that that was never a pro-EU government. I get it. I get it. Uh, I mean, whenever the Democrats get in, they fire all the Republican attorneys they can, vice versa. And, and that's just intramural battle, and then those groups still kind of work together. Here you're saying the bureaucracy is staying the same. That's right. So if they were really against Russia's control, they would be clearing out the communists, they would be clearing out the pro russian and they have not done that. But the most important thing to understand here is that Russia is not, and I don't predict they're going to actually invade Ukraine with any troops. And they don't have an excuse to do that if Ukraine doesn't effectively contest this militarily. Well, hold on, are you saying you think they're going to let the Russians take over the whole country again using uh, thugs? Uh, not necessarily the whole country. Tension to always exist to justify additional intrusions. No, no, but exactly. So partitioning. Or, or, or tell me what you think when we come back. We're coming right back with Joel Skousen, World Affairs Brief. I'm Alex Jones. 
We're on the march.